Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Uh, back in the grow tent. Um, I know about, oh, maybe five or six weeks ago, I sowed a bunch of seeds in these little cups. And um, most of them just did not come up. So it's not it's not an issue. I'm gonna, um, well, I'm not gonna use these cups again. But um, uh, I've actually got some fresh seed that come off of pods. And uh, um, I've, anyway, I've got... I've got new, uh, new plans for making more crossing blocks. So, uh, watch for that video here, uh, here soon in the next maybe three weeks, I'm going to start putting out, um, a video probably about every four days. So, um, I've got about six or seven I want to really make, um, here soon. And so anyway, so today the one plant that did come up, which I'm very glad this one did is the, uh, Jay's peach. It's, um, it's a uh, ghost pepper that I love. I uh, love the phenotype, love the flavor. I wanted to make some sauce of just uh, just those peppers. So, and I'll probably cross some to it, um, but I'm gonna grow it in a two gallon bucket like this. It's gonna be um, um, what's called a deep water culture. It's uh, basically just a hydroponic grow, but I'm gonna add air bubbles to it. Um, this, it's just just like a like a fish tank, you know, um, air pump. That's really all it is. Um, I will link all the stuff that I'm using in the description, so uh, so you'll be able to see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so um, I've already mixed. This is probably you know a gallon and three quarters or so, um, and um, I'll link I'll link above here um, uh, how I mixed it, how I mixed the the solution, and um, so I'm just going to transfer this plant into this net cup and just sit it right there add the air and that's it um i'm gonna top it off with just the it's a top that um you know you can get the with the bucket it's a white top so i wanted to put a little reflective uh just aluminum foil um the hole for the net cup again i'll i'll add a link here for um doing this but it's just a three inch hole saw i cut a hole always do it in reverse because it will catch that plastic and it'll it might cut you or something so so you know drill it in reverse and um yeah you'll have the best luck and then i put just two drill holes i don't remember if these are a quarter inch or what but uh those are for the uh for the two tubes that i'm going to put in for the air um but that's it let's go ahead and get this plant out of the cup should have good roots i mean this thing has been in here for um shoot ah, four or five weeks so it might be a little stunted it looks it looks healthy but um, um i know the roots are going to be nice i should have probably wet it first a little bit let's just squeeze the cup a little Just be very careful with it. You don't want to damage any of these. Though they'll grow pretty quick in this uh, um, in this hydroponic nutrients. Um, but you don't want to damage them. And a few inches here. I'm just going to rinse them off a little. Ah, I got a little calcium buildup in this. And a little dirt gets in your water. It's, it ain't that big a deal. I've already set my water to uh, a 5.9 pH. That's what keeps these plants about the happiest. Um, but I am going to just uh, take a snapshot every week of this uh, pepper growing in this uh, deep water culture. And I uh, just want to show y'all how crazy fast it grows. Um, so you definitely don't have to use the water, the air pump. You don't have to. This is just my choice. I wanted to do um, this uh, this deep water culture, and I think that it grows a little faster with the air. It uh, it aerates your your roots, 
you know, roots need oxygen. Um, the, the plant, the leaves need CO2, the roots need oxygen. So, um, um, the way roots get oxygen when you're not pumping it is when the water level goes down a little bit, you'll have, uh, you'll have air roots pop out the sides where it's dry, you know, where there's oxygen and there's no water. And that's how the, um, that's how the plant survives. Like, so for example, if you just did a, 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 a hydroponic grow and the roots were completely submerged, like say, you know, say your water level is like right here, this plant would die really quickly. But, but the good thing is, you know, the plant will eventually drink the water, the levels will go down and air roots will, will branch out on the side. But if you go crazy and keep the water level up really high all the time, your, your plant will eventually die because the, the roots will suffocate and they won't have any oxygen. So for this case, we're not going to allow that to happen. Um, we are going to pump, pump bubbles in there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. This plant's nice. Just want to wet these. They will absorb a lot of water too. You can drop this in a cup and you'd be amazed at how much water this can absorb. Probably should have had a bowl of water. Alright. Uh, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be kind of mashed in there early on mm. again not perfect just kind of have it you know have it look kind of kind of nice in there where some of the roots got a good inch or so poking out the bottom and when you put it in here you just want to pull that root out the bottom. Um, I've got a bunch of videos showing myself do this. Uh, you know, link a few. I could have probably cleaned this cup a little better. Usually they come right out of <laughs> out of being recycled. Um, right, let's see. I don't really have anything here to help me. I'm just going to do it with my finger. You just pull uh, the old roots in here. Okay. Okay. There we go. That seems like uh, I'm wasting my time. What's this little root going to do here? Well, this is all you really need. Just that little bit hanging down, just like that. You see, about a good inch or so. And if that can touch the water, you are good to go. Um, within a couple days, that will really just shoot down, you know, in about a week, it'll be a foot down there. It'll be all over the bottom, so. All right, now all I gotta do drop that in. I'm going to put a few rocks around the top. You don't want um, any bit of water exposed with the nutrients with uh, light will uh, will grow algae and we don't want that. So let's see if our water level is high enough. All I want is that water to just touch um, or the root just to touch the, uh, the water. Mm. I might want to put a little more water in there. It is touching it though. Um, but, but what's good, I mean, the water in the, uh, the little bit of water that's in the, uh, rock wool will also give it, you know, it, it won't, it'll keep it from drying out. So early on, keep that rock wool a little moist until the roots are long enough and they're in the nutrients and then you're, um, you're good to go. Uh, but yeah. I've got, uh, wait one a minute here. I'm going to put the tubes in there. I put some, um, what are called, <laughs> hear the bubble in there. Um, uh, 
are they called? Rocks, um, air stones. And this just makes the nice bubbles. You see that? Look at that. Nice. Um, my, uh, my air schedule is, um, one hour on and two hours off. Um, yeah, some people might say, I don't know. Everybody kind of might have a little different idea on that, but that's, to me, that works plenty good. You could do less, you can do a little more, whatever. Um, for me, that's that's what I've been using for the past few years, and it works really well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to snap. There's too much, I guess, aluminum foil on here. Anyways, it's touching. That's it. Um, I'm going to put that here in the corner. I'm going to let that go. Like I said, I'm going to take a picture every week, and you will see. So this is where we're at now. Tiny little plant. And I will show you in a week what that looks like. So stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to have a lot more coming up. And we'll see y'all next time.